This is the Sunrise Medical Adaptive Stroller, and it has a ton of mechanisms and joints and adjustment points. It's just a whole lot. We've probably had this stroller for about a year, I would say, give or take right about a year. The guy that delivered this, I'm assuming he was with the company, but he delivered it without any instructions, any way to put it together. He didn't show me any way to adjust anything on it. He just basically showed me how to take the top off, how to fold it up, and that was basically it. So basically I had to figure out how to make all the adjustments on this thing by myself, which is a good way to learn, but it took a long time to figure this thing out. This is definitely going to be a slight review of the product too, because it's really expensive, but for the little issues that I've had with it, it should be cheaper. Okay, to get started, the two tools that you're going to need to do any type of adjustments on this thing, like real adjustments, not like just moving it, tilting it and whatnot, actual bolts that need adjusted because you will have to adjust bolts with it. You're going to need a 3 16 a 5 30 seconds, and a 5 Allen wrench. Along with that, you're going to need Phillips head screwdriver, and I believe that's it. You could use an adjustable wrench if you wanted to take off the front wheels. Typically on any stroller, that's not something that you do. 3 16 Allen, 5 30 seconds Allen, and a 5 Allen wrench, and a Phillips head screwdriver, which I have not used. I've only used the Allen wrenches. I'm going to try to keep this as short as possible just because there's so many things that I could go over that are not really all that necessary, but I want to keep the video short and sweet and get to the main points and the main adjustments that I've had to make while I've had this adaptive stroller. Like I said, it's a Sunrise Medical. I'll have the link to their website below. I don't know exactly the details on this specific one because I could not find this specific one. I'm sure they update them pretty regularly. But if you go to pediatric and then I think early intervention under products, you can find a very similar one to this. So. Alrighty, first things first. You have a squeezable grip right here. That is how you tilt it and it'll lock in place in certain positions. I gotta move his arm. So you can tilt him back and then I'll get it to snap. It'll snap and it has different different levels where it snaps it'll snap in each of those levels that mechanism is also how you raise the whole thing out i will show you how to take the whole thing in and out in just a second you have the same thing on the other side this one does not raise the stroller in and out this is actually the angle of his hip to his back so if i wanted him to be more lean back have his legs you know his hips and legs more forward then i would do that but i like him sitting upright at like about a 90 degree angle so that is how you adjust that angle and that is the only thing that this one does this one like I said, tilts the entire thing back and forth. This one is just for the hip angle. Basically, you have this little clip right here and you push it down. It raises it up back here. And there's one on the other side too. You lift them both up and that's how you adjust the angle of the foot pad. And there's locking points on each of those. There's a little spring in there. This is the issue that I've had with this. The bolts are popping out on the inside and I'll show you what I mean. You see how there's two bolts there? That's what there should be, is two bolts. I've had the other side, one bolt has came off. Okay, like I was saying, this side, this side has two bolts. This side does not. The bottom bolt has fell out more than one time. And I had actually put a zip tie through here to fix it. And then I ended up finding a bolt that would work, but that bolt has fell out again too. So that is where I'm at with that situation. I have another issue. See how there's a bolt right here. This is just what connects the foot plate to the side of the stroller. There's a zip tie on this side because the bolt fell out there. That is the, the only issues that I've had are with the foot pad. Other than the foot pad, the stroller is not that bad. Okay, moving on. This is where they sit. They have side supports like this. One thing I wish I knew when I first got this was how these side supports move because they're locked. That little side piece, you press in and then it'll go in or out. It'll go out further, but then you let go and it locks right there. So like I said, you gotta peel that back just like that with your fingers, push this in, and then you can adjust it in or out to put the child in the stroller. And both sides have them. And they both adjust the same way. Now, say that they're both too close or too far apart and you need to adjust these. Behind this padding here is where you would adjust those bars. And there's two bolts right there. That would be where you need one of, I think it's the 532 Allen, and that's how you adjust those. Now this is how you adjust it up and down, as you can see with the bar here, but actually on the other side, if you see back in here behind the pad, that's where those two bolt holes are. And basically that's how you slide it left and right and then up and down from the back. But you slide left and right here if they need to go closer to their side or further away from their side. And that's the side bars. And the tray has these clamps right on the side that just squeeze down onto that armrest then their arms can go on the tray and they just click on and off this would be the head pad obviously now there is a zipper on the back because you can make adjustments to this as well 
there's an Allen inside here that you can adjust the angle that it basically grabs their head, which I need to tighten that right now. You can tighten that to where it's easily moved or it's completely stiff. Just depends on how tight you want it. Going to the back of the head pad, forward and backward with this, up and down, right underneath it. You got a ball joint here to change the angle. I didn't, I'm not, oh, I do know what these are. That was for a head strap that actually comes around their forehead and holds their forehead in place. I took that off because Emmett does not like things on his head. He doesn't like to wear hats, anything like that. So I had to ditch that thing right away. Do not have that. And I do not have with me the hood because there is a hood that goes over top too. It, just like, you know, normal strollers have to block from the sun and everything like that. Does come with a hood. The hood goes in, I'll show you. The hood goes in these holes right here and you just tighten down with this right here. You don't need to bother with an Allen key with that. Thank goodness you don't have to bother with, with an Allen, but yeah, that's how that goes. And like I mentioned before, I will show you how to raise it up and out. Now, if you can see right down in there is where it sits and there's two little pins when you grab that, that squeeze bar, like I said, you can change the angle with that. Once you squeeze that, it's actually released to be taken out. When you take it out, it just slides right out and there's a little pin that comes out right there. You saw that? That goes in and you drop. There's a little bolt right there that's like a little follow piece. Follow that all the way down, push it in and let go and it's locked. And that's how you make all the adjustments because there's little, there's little points inside there where that little rod sits. So yeah, that is that and the wheels, which you have probably seen in my previous videos, actually my probably my last video, because I was trying to figure out how I was gonna record this, are just these right here. And they just press up and lock. Both sides have that. You get a decent storage, I guess you could say compartment. It's not super big, but I mean, it gets the job done. It's okay. It can hold a bag and everything. As long as, if you put the bag in first, you're much better off going that route than putting the kid in, getting the kid all situated, and then putting your bag down there or whatever they need. What we do is put his nose sucker and burp cloths down there. Works perfect. Now, both wheels have to be locked in order for the base to come down. And one thing I would actually do as well is flip the front wheels around so that when it folds up, it is as compact as it can be. If they're like the wrong direction or like say like this, they'll run into the big back wheels and it'll jam up. It'll make the process a lot easier if you have them all the way forward. And the process to do that, these handles right here, once the both wheels are locked, you just squeeze both those and pull it back towards you. Squeeze these pull it back towards you. And then you just fold it down like that. Like I said, the wheels are in as far as they can go. This is as compact as it gets. And that's it. That's the Sunrise Medical adaptive stroller. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Like I said, once you get the basics down and get past, I would say, to be honest, if I got this again, first thing I'm gonna do when he actually does get another adaptive stroller, like a bigger sized one, I'm checking all the bolts and tightening everything down because I would not have lost the bolts to the base if I would have done that. But it shouldn't be an issue on a on a stroller that's this price. I mean, these are over $2,000. There shouldn't be bolts falling off in my opinion. But moving past that, it does exactly what we need him to do. It's super convenient to have a stroller that has this versatility. Glad to have it. It works great for him, it fits in perfectly, it's somewhere for him to eat, and it's fairly portable. It is kind of heavy, but it's not that bad. There are other strollers, regular strollers for normal kids that are much heavier and much bulkier than this. So, And this is made specifically for kids that, you know, don't sit upright, you know, need the extra support. Overall, solid, gets the job done. Complicated, but once you know how to adjust everything, it ain't that bad. I hope this helps somebody out. If there's anything that you, if you have this stroller and I didn't mention something, please put it in the comments, I will get back. Hope this helps somebody else out. If you haven't already, please like, and subscribe. Let me know if there's anything you want to see in the future. He has other equipment that I haven't talked about yet. If you're interested in any of that, you just have any suggestions for future videos, put them down in the comments and I'll do my best to get them made. Thanks for watching. We will see you in the next video.